Hello everyone. This is Professor A.C. Zadho, Department of Horticulture, KKWA College of Agriculture, Nasik. Under the course of HOT 354, today's topic is a package of practices for growing Palma Rosa, which is important and leading type of the aromatic plant in India. Guys, this video is only for educational purpose and not for any of the commercial use. Palma Rosa Botanical name of the Palma Rosa is a Simpopogon Martini variety Murtia. It comes under the family Gramini. Origin is India and the plant part which are used for the extraction of essential oil that is tender stem, leaves, flower stalk. Uses and importance of Palma Rosa. Palma Rosa is also known as a East Indian geranium. It is widely grown in the forest of Andhra Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra and Karnataka. The oil obtained from the other species of Simpopogon Martini variety Sophia which is known as a ginger grass oil and the essential oil which is obtained from the Rosha Palma Rosa used for extract of geraniol and are also used for incenting soap, perfume and tobacco industry. The oil imparts the rose like aroma, hence highly and heavily demanded Palma Rosa oil occupies third place in the export of essential oil next to the lemongrass then varieties of the palma rosa IW31244 released by NBPGR New Delhi that is National Bureau of Plant Genetics Research RRL B-77 and RRL B-71 that is released at Bhuvaneshwar, Trishna, hybrid developed by CIMPA Lucknow that is Central Institute of Medicinal and Aromatic Plant which gives 40 percent more oil and has 93 percent of a geraniol which is a main constituent. Soil requirement of this crop light loamy soil with a good water filtration infiltration are ideal. It prefer well drained neutral to alkaline soil for the cultivation of palma rosa. It can be grown in a poor sandy to the heavy fertile soil saline and marginal soil also. Regarding the climatic requirement, this crop is considered hardy and drought resistant type. It grow well in an area receiving 100 to 150 centimeter of annual rainfall easily. Winter should be less severe for the cultivation of palma rosa. And exposure of the sunlight is again essential one for obtaining the good oil recovery. It does not perform under the shade. Regarding the propagation, it can be propagated by means of the seed and by means of the rooted slip. Seed First in a nursery, we raise the seed on the raised bed. So the beds are raised well prepared and well manured. Seeds at the rate of 2.5 kg per hectare is sown at 15 to 20 centimeter space line. Sowing is done during May to June. Then after sowing nursery bed should be properly irrigated. In this way we can observe the germination practice within two weeks and in this way the seedlings are ready for the transplanting after 30 to 40 days when they attain the height of 15 to 20 centimeter. 
then second method that is the use of the rooted sleeves so the sleeves we can collect or obtain from the mature clump or elite clumps mother plant they are separated from the mother plant and planted in the month of april and may then such type of the sleeves are ready within a 3 months for transplantation so in this way during june july or up to the august september we follow the transplanting practice oil yield is a higher with a clonal propagation also so percent of establishment is higher with the seedling land preparation and the planting properly land tillage is essential one so we need to follow 3 to 4 number of the plowing then the land is laid out into the ridges and furrow type of the layout at the space of 60 cm then in a month of june july at 45 cm spacing or apart on a ridge we follow the plantation practice immediately after the plantation thorough irrigation is essential one nutrient and irrigation management if grown on the fertile soil then we doesn't need to supply the additional nutrient particularly on the first year of the plantations as it promote the vegetative growth and reduce the oil yield in a less fertile soil basal dose of 10 tons per fim 20 kg of nitrogen 50 kg of phosphorus and 40 kg of the potash per hectare we will apply apart from this one for the top dressing with 40 kg of nitrogen each time for the three times starting from 45 days after the planting it gives the good result irrigation management if rainfall is more than 150 crop can be grow as a rain fed crop if rainfall is less then we have a need to follow the irrigation practice so we can apply the irrigation as per the climatic condition at the interval of 7 to 10 days when the crop is fully grown irrigate at 15 to 20 days interval yield reduce if the field become dry harvesting and the yield harvesting so after plantation this crop can need 4 to 5 month means our first harvest we can obtain from 4 to 5 month after plantation then harvest 15 to 20 cm above the ground at the time of the flowering to early seed formation stage subsequent the crop is harvested at 2.5 to 3 months interval for 3 to 4 years yield as per the growth phases and the year there is a increase in the yield per plant or increase in the yield per hectare on a first year on an average we harvest 20 kg of the oil per hectare while on a second year it goes increased up to 60 kg per hectare on a third it is 70 kg per hectare while on a fourth year or up to the fourth year we harvest 70 kg of oil per hectare then regarding the distillation practice oil is extracted from palmarosa herbal or the stem part by the steam distillation method herbage is shed dried first for 24 hours and chop for distillation oil recovery is near about 0.3 to 0.4% it takes 4 hour to complete recovery of the oil so this is about the detail cultivation of the palmarosa thank you thank you very much